A growing number of companies are offering employees paid time off on Election Day. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo has that story. Some organizations are giving their employees election day off to encourage people to vote, even despite the big costs. It'll be a substantial loss. Power Home Remodeling, headquartered in Chester, Delaware County, is giving its 2,700 employees a paid day off November 3rd with a cost of around three and a half million dollars. But that's the short term pain. The, the, the long term vision is the way that your employees feel about the organization and, and that your values align with theirs. Power Home Remodeling is not alone. Uber, Coca Cola, and Twitter are also giving employees election day off to vote. So are smaller companies like Allen and Gurriston, a center city based advertising agency. The pay day off will cost it in the six figures. For us, it's about making sure that our employees have the ability to get out there and vote. Uh, and additionally, allowing them to volunteer their time to make sure other people in their community can vote. In the last presidential race in 2016, just 56 percent of eligible voters cast a ballot, a figure much less than most developed countries, according to the Pew Research Center. This year is uh, a year that brings this issue into focus and maybe we'll provide um, a more robust discussion around the possibility of having a federal holiday for elections. Meantime, UPenn is offering employees election day off if they serve as a poll worker because of a shortage the city is facing. I'm Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. You know, there is a lot to know about voting, so please feel free to make sure you check out our election guide at cbsphilly.com. There you can make sure you're registered to vote and find everything you need to know to vote by mail or in person.